Hey guys, it's Metagosis Perfect Snellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our labs playlist. In previous videos, we talked about acetylcholine receptor antibody, pseudocholine estrase versus true choline estrase, beta 2 microglobulins, Benz Jones proteins, and much more. Today, let's talk about the acid fast bacilli smear, shortly referred to as AFB smear. A test that is very commonly used for tuberculosis. Now let's get started. I have many videos in this labs playlist. Today we're talking about a test used to diagnose tuberculosis. So tuberculosis is the name of the disease. Osis means condition. Tubercle, like tuberosity, if you remember your anatomy, is an elevation. What's that elevation? This will be the elevation of your skin if we do the purified purotein derivative test. Hashtag granuloma. In duration, mycobacterium. Okay, we get it. It's a bacterium that has mycolic acid in the wall. Mycobacterium, mycolic acid. The old name is the tubercle bacillus. Hey, medicosis, is this acid fast smear test specific for mycobacterium tuberculosis? No. All the mycobacteria are acid fast and i mean strongly acid fast fully acid fast some fungi are acid fast cryptosporidium oocytes are acid fast moreover nocardia rudococcus godonia and sucamorella are weakly acid fast or partially acid fast but hey medicosis what the flip does acid fast mean well fast means resistant as in fasten your seat belt please so instead of saying acid fast i want you to imagine acid resistant which means these organisms will resist the decolorization with acid solutions put differently you take that organism you add an acid solution to it waiting for the organism to lose its color under the influence of the acid and it will not happen the bacteria will resist your attempt of decolorization by an acid solution and i mean strong acid solution how about the weakly acid fast they resist decolorization with weak acid solutions how about something that's not acid fast well it does not resist any decolorization in fact it will be decolorized it will lose its color once you add the acid not every mycobacterium is mycobacterium tuberculosis we have gazillion other mycobacteria and they are acid fast that's why the acid fast test is not specific it cannot confirm the diagnosis of tuberculosis how can i confirm it then you will need culture for that mycobacterium tuberculosis is anatomically gram positive we expect it to be gram positive based on the structure of the cell wall etc however in reality it did not stain well with gram thanks to the mycolic acid to tell you about the technique of the acid fast stain let me first remind you of the gram stain technique for an elaborate discussion check out my video called the gram positive versus the gram negative you'll find it in my microbiology playlist here's the structure of the bacteria we have a cell wall an outer membrane inner membrane cytoplasm and the nucleus is in the center of the cell this structure applies for the gram negative how about the gram positive there is no outer membrane and the peptidoglycan will be thicker in the gram positive Here's a comparison between gram positive versus gram negative bacterial structure. Both of them have peptidoglycan. Both of them have phospholipid bilayer. The peptidoglycan is in the cell wall. The phospholipid is in the lipid membrane. The peptidoglycan is much thicker in the gram positive, but thinner in the gram negative. Here is the difference. Please pause and review. The free market is ruled by those who are able to see and plan long range. The better the mind, the longer the range. The gram stain is ruled by those bacteria with thick peptidoglycan cell wall. The thicker the wall, the purpler the stain. Look at that. Here is how you do the gram stain technique. You add your sample, which contains bacteria, to a glass slide. Then add crystal vial stain, which is purple, as you know. You might add iodine to strengthen it. Why do I care about crystal violet? Because it binds your peptidoglycan. Look at that. The gram positive will become purple and the gram negative organism will become less purple, but still purple. Step two, add an alcohol to try to decolor the bacteria. 
to try to wash out the purple stain. The gram negative will lose the purple color, which means you have successfully washed out the purple stain. However, the gram positive bacteria, thanks to their very thick peptidoglycan cell wall, will retain the crystal violet. Step 3, add a counter stain, which is fuchsia. That's why we call it fuchsin or fuchsin. It's a pink stain. Well, since the gram positive did not lose its color, it will remain purple. However, the gram negative, now colorless, will acquire the new color and will become pink. So the end result is gram positives appear purple, but gram negatives appear pink. This was the story of the gram stain. But now let's turn our attention to the acid fast technique. Again, the word fast means resistant. Resistant to what? To the decoloring method. Let's go, bring me the sample that has the bacteria. Add fusion, which is a pink color first. Then you add the acid alcohol to try to decolorize or decolor or wash out the purple stain from the bacteria. And the result will be one of these. If the bacterial pink color was successfully washed out, this is a non-acid fast because it did not resist your decoloring techniques. How about if the bacteria kind of was partially washed out. This is weakly acid fast. How about if the bacteria did not budge an inch, did not change whatsoever? This is truly resistant to the acid alcohol. Resistant to the acid. Acid fast. Just like tuberculosis. Please pause and review. Now you get it. Some pearls for the pros. Tuberculosis is a very infectious disease extremely contagious. Therefore, wear gloves and wear an N95 respirator mask. Hi, Medicosis. Can the acid fast bacillus smear test confirm the diagnosis of tuberculosis? Shut up. It cannot. If you want to confirm, you need culture. Okay, Medicosis. So the patient should expect the culture results to be available uh, like later in the day by the end of business. Oh, shut up. It takes three to eight weeks to come back. Why is that? Tuberculosis is very slow growing on cultures. Moreover, before you do the test, do not give antibiotics, because if you give antibiotics, you will kill the bacteria and the results might come back as false negatives. If you want to confirm the presence of the bacteria, well, don't kill the bacteria beforehand. After you take your sample, you can start the antibiotics. If you have enough suspicion that this might be tuberculosis. Okay, Medicosis, uh, how many bacteria do we need in order for the test to come back positive, like a true positive? You need at least 5,000 organisms per ml. What? That's a lot. Yes, indeed. That's why there is a technique for it. Medicosis, something weird happened. My patient of tuberculosis was prescribed antibiotics against tuberculosis. Two months later, we tried to follow up. So we ordered the culture again and the acid fast smear again. The culture came back negative, but the acid fast smear still show tuberculosis bacteria. Tubercle bacilli. How is that possible? Well, this could be treatment failure or cavitary lung disease. But I don't understand. How come the culture is negative? Because the antibiotics for two months can give you a negative culture. Not all acid fast organisms are mycobacterium tuberculosis. They could be any of these mycobacteria. They could be the oocytes of cryptosporidium. Some fungi are actually acid fast. And don't forget the weekly acid fast bacteria, Nocardia, Rhodococcus, Godonia, and Tsukamorella. Some tidbits for the patient. Hey patient, before you give me the sample, make sure it's a morning sample. Same thing applies for any patients coming for a urine sample. We usually require a morning sample. Why is that? Because in the morning, you are the dirtiest that you will ever be, giving the lab all kinds of findings. This increases the chance that we will actually find tuberculosis and make the correct diagnosis. So, we will wake up early in the morning and get ready for the test. First, rinse your mouth with water only so that your sample contains uh, tuberculosis alone, which comes from the lung, and not other organisms that live in your mouth. Okay, Medicosis, how about using Listerine mouthwash? Shut up. You don't like Listerine? How about Crest or Colgate? 
Shut up, I'm not arguing about the brand. Many of these mouthwashes are antiseptic. They contain chemicals that will kill the tuberculosis. What's the whole point of the freaking test then? You rinse your mouth with water only. Now get ready for the test. Take several deep breaths and give me a wonderful cough deep from the lungs. I do not want your saliva. Tuberculosis is concentrated in your lungs. Deep, it has to be very deep. But doctor, I find it very hard to do. Well, the doctor can lower your head or give you hypertonic saline inhaled or aerosolized. This hypertonic solution, which is lots of salt, will attract water by osmosis and increase the secretions and make it easier for you to expectorate. Doc, I still cannot do it. Well, we can try an instrument that's gonna go in and take the sample out. We can do this endotracheally, transtracheally through your skin, or fiber optic bronchoscope. But hey, medicosis, don't you think you're taking it so far? Would you prefer to take antibiotics for six to nine months against tuberculosis, only to discover later that you did not have tuberculosis to begin with? No, I want to actually confirm that I have tuberculosis before I do all of this. All right, then give me the sample. We will send it for microscopy using the acid fast smear. And the same sample or samples can be used for culture. I want at least three samples on three separate occasions. Each sample should be one or more teaspoons. So, medicosis, why is tuberculosis acid fast again? It's thanks to the mycolic acid. Why do we call it myco? Because back in the day, we thought that these organisms are fungi. Myco means fungus. Mycology is the science that studies fungi. So, we called it mycolic acid. Later, we discovered that these are not fungi. Some of them have hyphae that branch that look like a fungus, but they are not a fungus. If your mycolic acid is short, like coriny bacteria, you are not acid fast. If it's medium to long, well, it depends. Medium is nocardia, weakly acid fast. Long is mycobacterium, tuberculosis. Long chain means strongly acid. If you want to learn more about tuberculosis, check out my tuberculosis video in my pulmonology playlist. There is another video coming to my microbiology playlist in January 2023. Would you like to learn about trifampin, isoniazid? pyrazinamide, ethambutol, download my antibiotics course at medicosisperfectsnetis.com. It will teach you about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.